Hey everyone, this is Tony here at Our Cabin Woods, and today I am going to try to dehydrate pineapple. I'm going to give it a shot. I don't know, and uh, I don't. Uh, I've seen it done. We're going to give it a shot and see how it comes out. I'm going to go ahead and cut this top off. You know, it's weird. I uh, I start talking. And um, you know who shows up beside me. She, well, she's walking over here now. Always. Pineapple. And go from there. Let's see if she likes it. That's something new. I'm going to set them on a tray and I'll show you what we got when we're done. And i got to go check that bread. And see how that bread looks. Um, main thing is, is you want to get, of course, that all off. The skin. And sometimes you'll end up with a little piece like that. Because if you don't, that's hard as a rock. You don't want to eat that. And I've just been cutting them up. Probably like quarter inch to um, eighth inch slices. Well, believe it or not, that's actually perfect. And there we go. Four trays of pineapple. And you can see the third and fourth one down there. This ought to be good, I hope. <laughs> I've never done one. And I was in the grocery store this morning. I wanted to get some, I wanted to do uh, uh, watermelon, which I got right there. That will be next. But we're going to give it a shot and see how this comes out. Hopefully it does. So we're going to go ahead and put it on, um, on uh, fruits, which I think is 135. All right, guys. You say hi, Willow. See, I told you she's down there waiting on me. <laughs> oh, here's uh, three of the zucchini breads. Now, you know, if you let this set up for like a half an hour, you'll see how it starts pulling away from the siding. And after that, all you got to do is take these things and just flip them upside down and they fall right out of your, your, your crate, which I'm pretty sure all you fine cooks out there know that I just I'm just not learning all right guys I'm gonna go all right we've got about about 30 hours for dehydrating the pineapple and this will end up with I already start peeling off that I remembered I needed the camera but they look good and uh, you see who's standing there the official taste tester what do you think ready let us know What are you thinking, Willow? Is that good? I guess it's good, guys. She likes it. Anyway, and today what we're doing is I have pineapple that I have dehydrated. Hard as a rock. Doing really, really good. You know who my test person or dog is over here? She's waiting already. There you go. You hear? She likes it. She's showing it. Anyway, what we're going to do is I've got Mylar bags. I don't know how many I'm going to need. Probably three. <clears throat> Small Mylar bags. A little pouch. We're going to put our um, pineapple in there. Don't do I mean, it's up to how many you want to put in there. Okay, we're done with that. I'll try to, you can see what's in there. All three of these are just about the same, the same everything in them. So we're gonna put two oxygen absorbers in per pack. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out six. Then I'm gonna take this over to my vacuum machine and I'm gonna reseal this packet, this new packet, so the new, all my absorbers don't get damaged you know, from being open. And as you can see, I've already been in this bag before, so I'm going to take out six. I'm putting two of these in per bag. There's three, four, five, six, two, four, six, so two each bag. So what I'm going to do right now, we don't want oxygen to get in here. Uh, vacuum pack this back up again. There we are. So now I can go put this back in where I had my stuff uh, set at. 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to take two of these and put two in each bag. All right, so now we got a hair straightener. This is my wife's old one that I've kept for doing Mylar bags. I think everybody's seen this before, one of these before. And what I usually do is, you like to try to get this done as soon as you can. I like to, what I like to do is kind of do a, fold it and just a little bit, that way it stays. If you do this, it's hard to keep because it bowls up like this, as you can see. You're trying to make it, you're trying to make it stay that way so you can use a heating iron. What I do is I take it and fold it a little bit and as you see, if you fold it, it stays completely straight. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do about half of the bag or three quarters of the bag. Just drag that right across. Okay, that part's done. Woo, hot too. Now, I'm going to go ahead and squeeze out as much air as I can out of it. This is still open right here. I left a little spot open. I'm pushing the air out as much as I can. There we go. I think that's as much air as I can get out of it. So now I'm going to continue and just reseal the rest. So there we go. Now this bag, I'll go through one more time and make sure it's good. I just drag it straight on through. And as you can see, this bag is completely sealed up. And now we're going to let the oxygen absorb. And you'll start seeing these bags, maybe in about 12 hours, will start to wrinkle up some. I'm just going to take this, and hopefully you can see that. I bet you can't. I just noticed the camera. But as you can see, I folded it over. And it kind of stays together on its own. So now what I'll do is I'll just take my heating piece. I'll just drag it right across there real quick. We'll drag it across there and make sure it's got a good seal. And it does. And once again, I'll go ahead and I'm going to squeeze as much air out of here as I can. And we're good. So... These are 100% sealed. So now what we've got is we do have three pineapples that have been sealed up. There's 100 cc oxygen absorbers in here. And should be in about 24 hours, these should be shriveling up. I'm going to put pineapple across the top and a date on all three of them. And uh, we'll go from there and I'll show you what it looks like tomorrow morning. All right, I got the uh, finishing up on the mylar, and while I've got everything done, I have that I have uh, dehydrated now. Look at this; she comes running when she hears me in here and can't get the camera going. What are you looking for? <laughs> She's licking her lips. I have no more treats for you. They're all in these bags. <laughs> They're all in here, sweetie. <laughs> all right, here we go. Uh, here's my uh, mylar bag set up. And um, the first ones you see me do, which was uh, almost a month ago, was cantaloupe. I did these right here. And then I've done some more cantaloupes. And then I did some watermelons. Got three watermelons. Pineapples. This is two pineapples. But you're able to get. Now, like I said. Now, if you look. Let's just say one thing. Like I said before. I made these to what my wife and I would snack on from one day to maybe two. And there's maybe two days worth that you could snack on if you really wanted to snack. And then, you know, you, I mean, it lasts a lot longer than that. But I just made these packs a certain amount of days that we can snack on. So it's two pineapples here. As you see, I got pineapple. I put the date. Kind of hard to see with the... There you go. And it says pineapple. If you look... The bag is shrunk in, it's solid, no air pockets, it's just one solid piece now, it's all shrunk in. That's Now that is preserved for a real long time. Every packet the same way, cantaloupes. Um, I'm going to say cantaloupes, uh, I can't remember, I think I, I dehydrated seven cantaloupes. One, two, three, four, five. 
So it's five, and I know she's had a bunch. Well, I can't blame it on her because of me too. <laughs> Every one of them come out really good. The one that really surprises me the most is the watermelon. The watermelon actually is so much like, to me, it just reminded me like cotton candy, I guess you would say. It's crazy how good candy-wise it was. It is. And we're going to do more dehydrating. I just don't, uh, just, you know, I got other videos I can mess with right now. We're done here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for putting up with me sometimes with stupid videos or whatever it may be. You know, and uh, how you feeling, baby? Willow, you feeling okay, honey? Hmm? You feeling all right, sweetie? She lost her tooth. All right, everybody. Thanks again. Thanks for watching, and um, I do appreciate it. And share with everybody, tell everybody, and we'll catch you next video. Thanks again. Bye.